Many scholarship examinations contain an essay component in which the student has to write one to two essays in a short amount of time. This section is usually the hardest and most stressful, and it is often used by examiners to choose the ideal candidate for schools. However, with the right strategies in mind, one can easily master this component and receive a significant advantage over other students. In scholarships, the two predominant writing formats are a creative piece, which is a fictional story designed to hook readers, and a persuasive one, a piece with the intention of convincing readers to accept a particular idea or opinion that you're putting forward. These essays can be written from 15 to 30 minutes. It depends on the type of exam that you're undertaking. I would first like to talk about creatives. In a creative piece, you must write a fictional story based on a given topic. Generally, your essay should have a setup where you introduce your characters and set the mood for your story, a climax where the crux or the main issue of your story occurs, and finally a resolution where the main problem is solved and you end your story. When you write your essay, there are a few points that you must consider. Make sure that you use lots of figurative language and adjectives that help set your mood. Mood setting is a very important aspect of the essay, and usually an elegantly written introduction can make up for a substandard climax. 2. Ensure that your climax is not too long or complicated. A simple problem will suffice for scholarships. 3. In your resolutions, do not make it too quick. This is why your climax should not be too long. Use the time that you have saved from the climax to make the long resolution that leaves the reader satisfied. 4. A message or moral is not required for a creative essay, but examiners are more likely to provide higher marks if your essay does contain a meaning. 5. Make sure your essay is not cliché. Any cliché or unoriginal essay will score poorly, regardless of the quality of writing. At the end of your essay, take any time left to go over it and fix any spelling errors. Do not just sit and wait for the time to run out. Use every second. Now that we know some general tips for creative writing, I would like to show you an example of an essay that would score very highly on a scholarship exam. So there are a few things that this essay did well. One of them is that it had a very descriptive introduction that set the mood. Another thing is that the problem wasn't too advanced. The narrator just fell off his skateboard. Also, the resolution took time and left the reader feeling satisfied and part of the journey. Finally, the essay had a clear message that was not too cliche. We have now completed creative writing. Before the writing examination, it's important to put some practice into your essay writing skills. A good way to do this is to practice with some prompts. Here are a few prompts. Write a story about a day in the life of an object. Write a story from the perspective of an animal. Write a story about a world where something is different from our own. Write a story about a time when you faced a challenge and how you overcame it. Or write a story about a dream that you had and what it means to you. Now let's move on to the persuasive essay. To write a persuasive essay for the scholarship exam, you should have the following structure. An introduction, this is where you state your contention and your two arguments. 
Then two body paragraphs that provide evidence for your opinion. Also, as another paragraph, you need a rebuttal. A rebuttal is really important. In the rebuttal, you should acknowledge the case of the other side, but then you should rebut it and prove why it is wrong. Writing a rebuttal shows exam markers that you think outside of the box and have a wide perspective. Finally, you need a conclusion where you summarize your essay. Some tips for writing a persuasive essay are, make sure you know your audience. Your audience is the person who will be reading your essay. In this case, your audience is your examiner. Keep their interests and expectations in mind when you're writing your essay. Make sure you use strong evidence. It should be relevant to the topic. Avoid using personal opinion as evidence. Also be clear and concise. Your essay should be easy to read and understand. Avoid using jargon or overly complex sentences. Finally, as always, proofread your essay carefully. Before you finish your essay, be sure to proofread it carefully for any errors in grammar, spelling or punctuation. Here is an example essay that would score highly on the scholarship exam. There are a few things that this essay did well. Some of them are that it had a very clear structure, it had different unique arguments, it had credible grounded evidence, also it had a rebuttal that shows that the author knows a lot about the issue. Finally, the sentence were varied so the essay did not feel repetitive. I hope this video has helped you with the scholarship essays. In short, one of the most important aspects of the essay is practice. Make sure you do lots of practice essays in time conditions so that you don't feel any pressure on the exam. As always, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more content in the future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.